For this homework you're going to be exploring tints and shades so you can find your own picture on Google or you can use one of the ones in the booklet. I'm using an example of trees but if you think that's too challenging for you then you can choose a different one. So into Google put tint, tone and shade landscapes and as you can see there's lots of different examples you can do or you can make it up yourself. The focus is going to be on using one colour but then adding white and black. So choose a suitable image and then download it onto your phone or laptop. So the next homework is going to be to create a landscape using your tints and shades. So I'm going to be covering up this section so that I'm not splashing it. Now I've chosen to do these trees here. Now I'm going to be making it look a little bit different because my picture is landscape here and portrait here. So I'm going to be changing the design a little bit. So first of all, I'm going to be thinking about where I want this light blue, middle blue, and then dark colours at the front. So I'm just imagining the ground as it goes backwards. Next, I'm just going to think about where these two trees at the back are going to be. They need to be quite thin because they're going to be at the back. And then we're going to draw two trees in the light blue section. Not worrying about detail at this moment, I'm just getting the shapes in. Next are going to be these darker blue trees, so again they're kind of getting a little bit wider. Now I'm going to have this one actually overlapping slightly because I am going to run out of space. So again I'm just going to press a little bit harder so that I roughly know where that tree is going to go. Again, I'm not worried too much. Now I'm going to leave these trees at the front until the end. So how am I going to start this? So I'm going to start with the background. So the quickest way to do this is to mix up your white. You're going to need quite a lot. So I'm kind of scooping it out, rolling the brush to get it onto the tile or onto the palette. You then need to pick up a tiny bit of your blue, which I'm going to put separately. Okay, now I'm just going to use a little bit of that blue into this white colour. Now this is the colour that is going to be the background. So it's quite watery, which is fine. And I'm not going to worry about it going over the top of the trees because this is literally the very back of my painting, so not much of this is going to be seen. So I'm going to mix up some more white. So what I'm trying to create is a colour that's one or two shades darker than the original colour that I've got on here. So I'm going to try and find where I did those original two trees. Now because my brush is nice and pointy, I'm just going to hand draw those trees and again I'm just putting them on quite lightly I'm not worrying too much about details at the moment so I'm not even 
even worried that I'm painting over the top of the lines. Now, one thing that I'm going to have to do is attach it to a little bit of this ground. So I am going to have to paint the first level. So this is going to be this section here, if you can see that. While that's drying, I'm going to go back in this colour and I'm going to add a little bit more blue. Because again, I'm going to be making it one shade darker for these colours. I still need some white, but my proportions are changing a little bit. So I've got a little bit more blue and a little bit less white. Okay, so next... I'm just going to test the colours. I think I need a little tiny bit more blue. Okay. So if the colour isn't looking dark enough, you can just put a second layer of the same colour. So on this next row of trees, I'm actually going to fill in a few leaves. So in this second colour, I'm still on the second layer. Just to make it look a little bit more full up in the canopy of the trees. So I'm just dotting the brush down as if I'm doing stippling when I'm drawing. So this is going to be I'm when using I'm the shades of the brighter brush. trees in the foreground. Just so the way this works, texture. so don't the close the, the trees get to you. you. So if you're standing at the edge of this forest, too neat and the closer the trees are, the darker they are. And the more further away the light. So this next section I'm going to do is this to brighten down your different colours. So using exactly the same light, and I'm just mixing it into the colour that I already had. Now, this would be called the hue, so you're pretty much just using it, using it straight out of the palette. spend a very long time adding lots and lots of leaves so what you'll see me do here I'm changing it I'm lifting my brush and I'm almost putting a dot down so these leaves are starting to come towards me so they're crisp they have a kind of shape to them whereas these leaves in the background are a little bit more fuzzy so they look like they're very far away and you can't see every single leaf. So with the final layer and we are going to be using black, black and blue. So I wouldn't mix it into here because what you've got here is white and blue. Okay, so if you think about it, you shouldn't mix white and black into the same colour because the white is making the blue lighter, the black is darker and you can't make it lighter and darker at the same time. You will just get a grey colour. So the best thing to do is start again with a fresh colour. Again, you won't need to mix a huge amount of black. Now, I've just tested a little bit of colour here and it, it's just not thick enough, so I'm just going to... And again, 
again the most amount of detail is at the front so you could take some time drawing little grass little leaves but use your brush I wouldn't try to draw something with a pencil and then color it in that's going to take too long Okay, so there is my tonal painting. So I've managed to use my hue, which was my blue, my shade, which is blue and black, and my tints in the background to create a lot of depth. Now you don't have to do trees. As I showed you at the beginning of the video, you could look up um, tints, tones, and shades on Google put tint tone shade painting and then you can either copy a photograph or copy a picture that you find okay the emphasis is on how you paint it rather than the image so I'd rather you did something more simple but you learnt how to mix the different colors than something really complicated that you're not going to be able to finish